developing Taiwan's own Starlink crucial for Iceland-wide emergency space agency says. He Xinchu, Taiwan CNN. Taiwan's leaders are working on ambitious new satellite system to keep the Iceland online in case of disaster, as it deals with the constant threat of hostilities with China. Wu Zhongxin, Director General of the Taiwan Space Agency called TASA, told CNN in an exclusive interview that Taiwan is at an experimental development stage in effort to build a new indigenous, indigenous, indigenous uh, communication satellite. Uh, once the system is up and running, it could work in a similar way to Elon Musk the Starlink satellite system in providing internet uh, access, albeit at a much smaller scale, said Wu, who has led the Taiwan space programs since 2022. Um, Starlink, operated by Musk, SpaceX uses the network of thousands of satellites to de deliver the internet to users to all over the world, including areas where conventional connections are unable, unavailable. It has been used by Ukraine's military to build a battlefront as a defense against Russia's invasion in Gaza. Devastated by Israel's war against Hamas, it has allowed to step at the field hospital to conduct real-time video medical consultations. But Taiwan does not have access to Starlink uh, because SpaceX insisted on having majority ownership over the proposed joint venture, a demand com incompatible with the local Taiwanese laws. This was a part of the region Taiwan developed its own technology. The communication satellite is very important for our communication re resilience during urgent period, Wu said, calling it uh, his agency's most sensitive project. That's very important for us, so we take it very, very seriously. Starlink has proved the crucial for Ukrainian forces defending their homeland from Russia's invasion. Um, vulnerable network. Taiwan's unique geopolitical landscape and location about 100 miles off the coast of China adds urgency to the ambitious uh, project. China's ruling Communist Party claims the Iceland as part of its territory and has repeatedly vowed to take it by force if necessary. Currently, Taiwan's connectivity is served by 15 submarine inter internet cables that link it with the rest of the world, but these ca uh, cables are susceptible to damage. Last year, a group of online Taiwanese Iceland are cut up from the internet for weeks after two submarine cables connecting them to Taiwan's main Iceland are damaged by passing ships. High-speed internet is crucial to normal function of any society, but in Taiwan's case, a deliberated attempt to sabotage this system could have other repercussions. In a report published by the Institute for National Defense and Security Research, a Taiwanese government-affiliated research body expert warned that if Beijing or cut, Beijing were to cut internet cables around Taiwan, it could disrupt regular communications and cause widespread panic. Taiwanese authorities previously announced that the space agency would develop two communication satellites, the first of which could be launched by 2026. Afterward, it would also assist private companies with the launch of four additional satellites to help them make enrolled into an industry. However, Taiwan would need to send hundreds of satellites if it were to create a system that provides un 
interrupted the backup internet access, expert told CNN. Wu Zhongxin, director general of the Taiwan Space Agency, speaks to CNN on March 5, 2024, in Husinch, Taiwan. Brad Tucker, an astrophysicist at Australian National uh, university estimated that Taiwan would need at least 50 satellites to provide a fairly decent urgency, emergency coverage with each own satellite constellation, and the more the better. In order to really have the reliability uh, bandwidth so that everyone can service it, we are going to need quick, quiet a lot more satellite. We are probably talking about in the hundreds, he said. If the country is dedicated to it, it could definitely complete it, he added, because the hard part is really just getting the funding to launch them all. Su Chu Yun, Chu Yun the director of Taiwan's Institute of National Defense and Security Research said that while it would be unrealistic to think Taiwan would be able to provide all-round internet coverage with just a few indigen indigenous uh, satellites, the space project is vulnerable in the long run. Uh, Taiwan's development in this area is very meaningful because it allows us to enter the space industry and provides a greater flexibility for our military to access communication systems in our weapons development in the future, he said. And before Taiwan achieves that capability, the Iceland can still provide backup connectivity in the foreseeable, foreseeable future by partner partnering uh, with the OneWeb uh, satellite communication system headquartered in London and other maritime satellite systems, he added. The Chinese city of Xiamen lies just two miles from Taiwan's Kinmen Island. Bolstering Li silenced. Ensuring that Taiwan's communication systems stay functional in, in extraordinary times has been a growing prior build, priority for the Iceland top leaders in recent years. Besides the ta tasking the space agency with the satellite project, the Taiwanese government established the Digital Affairs Ministry in 2022 to boost communication resilience. That ministry has been par partnering with overseas satellite service providers and installing new terminal equipment in remote com locations of Taiwan to provide connectivity. By the end of 2024, 700 hotspots will be established across the Iceland to allow for satellite communications during emergency situations, authorities announced in March. The initial in initiative proved useful during a magnitude to 7.4 earthquake that hit eastern Taiwan in early April. While traditional communication systems are disrupted near the epicenter, authorities successfully used OneWeb to provide emergency internet access for rescuers and the stranded personnel. In the future, Taiwan's satellite system could replace the third party deals, but Wu, the space agency director, declined to provide the more specific details about the project timeline. According to people familiar with the matter, the new administration is set to release the updated blueprint and the timeline of each space program, including each communication satellite project. After Taiwan's president, President-elect Lai Ching-de takes office on May 20. A rocket model in development at the Taiwan Space Agency on March 5, 2024 in Hushenchu, Taiwan. Big Ambition in Space Taiwan's space ambitions extend beyond the developing indigenous 
indigenous uh, communication satellite to USAID. A key object has been uh, to create a new industry in Taiwan that can uh, capture growing opportunities in space project internationally. Last year, President Tsai Ing-wen uh, announced a $25.1 billion NT $790 million investment in the Iceland space programs in the coming decade, with the goal of assisting companies in various industries, including chip design and precision uh, machinery, to enter the space age industry. The, despite its uh, relatively uh, small size, Wu believes the Taiwan is uh, uh, desirable location to develop the space project because of its undisrupted role as the leader in advanced semiconductor chips, which are needed to power everything from computers and artificial intelligence. One Taiwanese firm, in particular Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, produced an uh, estimated 90% of the world's super advanced semiconductors and supplies to global tech giants such as Apple and NVIDIA. Besides the semiconductors, who believes that Taiwan's advances in information technology and the precision price Precise precision uh, machinery also provide uh, advantages to the development of each space industry. Satellites are very complicated systems, he said. In a satellite, we you have twenty thousand to thirty thousand com components. Once you send it into space, there is no way you can call it back and repair it. So it's very top and it's very expensive. To accelerate its development, Taiwan's space agency has also been working to develop a rocket system that can launch that can launch its satellite into space. Taiwan has relied on overseas providers to send its satellites to into space, such as the Trill Ton an indigenous radar satellite launches the last year from French Guinea in South America. We are working on a launch vehicle and we intend to launch rockets into our low Earth orbit starting in 2030, uh, USAID, referring to satellite orbits with the altitude lower than 1,000 km above Earth. Once Taiwan possesses that technology, it will be able to conduct a test flight for frequently. We do have the solid foundation, and right now, I think we are ready to take on the adventure more aggressively, He's, he added. CNN's Willie, Will Riffley and John Meese contributed to this reporting.